This is Planet Pulse for Tuesday, September 3rd. The moon fires into Aries early this morning. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine. It fires into Aries early this morning. It fires in Aries once it's in Aries as it joins Uranus, the planet of, of, of lightning. Of um, Uranus's job is to release pent-up information, pent-up tension. And when the moon hits Uranus this morning, it's a kapow, exciting. It's an exciting Aries moon. It's exciting. It's exciting. Did I say that yet? <laughs> it, it is very exciting. I, I understand your... All right, I'm going to calm down now. Excitement. <sighs> And the moon Uranus conjunction, although it can certainly indicate the excitement of freshness and newness and discovery, which are associated both with the sign Aries and with the planet Uranus, the moon then is going to quickly move on midday to a tense 90 degree square with Pluto, which is anything. It's exciting if you like a good gulag story because Pluto is about containment, confinement. So we've got a pretty intense morning with a powerful thrust of freedom first, followed by a high degree of control, manipulation, and accountability. Yeah, Second. yeah, it, it's an interesting uh, move from one to the other, and yet this is descriptive of the move that we're doing with the Uranus-Pluto square that's with us for years now, and Uranus right now gets hit first, meaning that whatever planet hits or aspects Uranus then aspects Pluto, and I think you're right, Jeff, what this means is that first we have the, the, the sense of freedom, the exhilaration, the Arab Spring, which was a Uranian right. energy, and then we realize that there's other there, there's other stuff there's more powerful energies that may be sitting behind that allowed us to spread it out into the open immediately but then we have to contend with the reality that's behind it it may be a lot more serious and we may need to suck it in and get real yeah which gets a little hard because after this transformational energy early in the day we start moving toward an aspect that isn't isn't exact until very early tomorrow morning loving sociable venus is in a slippery 150 degree quincunx with super soft and sentimental neptune which can be romantic illusion or social vulnerability so in spite of the the fact that we've got this spiky and intense stuff in the morning there's a softer sappier and perhaps escapist side which may dominate the evening i'm jeff jower oh i love you man <laughs> and i'm rick levine inviting you to join us here on planet pulse every day of the week